Welcome to my channel Fee Concepts CHM. In this video, we are going to see about the experiment Velocity of Sound using CRO. Here, we will see about the aim, apparatus, diagram, theory, procedure, formula, observation table, that is the actual readings taken, calculations, e-resources and result. A. To find the speed of sound using CRO. Apparatus. Audio frequency generator. Cathode ray oscilloscope that is CRO. Speaker. Microphone. The Kunz tube apparatus. Diagram. It consists of a tube, a glass tube. Then there is a speaker inside this tube at it is fixed at one end. This speaker is connected to a signal generator. Then there is a rod to which a microphone is connected. This microphone is connected to the CRO. Theory. When longitudinal waves of sound traveling in air are made incident normally on a solid reflecting surface, they get reflected in the opposite direction. Resultant waves do not travel either in forward direction or in the backward direction, but remain stationary. Such waves are called as stationary waves or standing waves, as shown in this figure. There are the nodes, which are denoted as N1, N2, N3. Here, the amplitude becomes zero. Then there are the anti nodes A1, A2, A3 at which the amplitude of the vibration becomes maximum. Procedure The loudspeaker S is connected to a signal generator. Longitudinal sound waves having a frequency of which we denote as N are produced by the speaker S. Waves are made interference to incident on a reflecting board and they get reflected. Incident and reflected waves are produced. Stationary waves are formed between the speaker and the reflecting board. Reflecting board is here. The microphone M converts the stationary waves into the electrical signals which are fed to the CRO. Vertical trace is produced on the CRO. We can fix the CRO in the XY mode so that you will get a straight line. From that, uh, we can understand how much is the amplitude of the stationary waves at the point occupied by the microphone. At the nodes, the amplitude of the vibrations is zero. At the anti-nodes, the amplitude of vibrations is 
maximum. The nodes and the antinodes can be located by adjusting the microphone at different points between the speaker and the reflecting board. Formula. The distance between two consecutive nodes or between two antinodes is measured. Normally, we measure it between two nodes because that is much easier to measure because there the amplitude is almost zero. So this distance between capital N1 and N2, these are the nodes. This distance will denote as small l and that, uh, that is lambda by 2, half of the wavelength. Therefore, we can write down the wavelength lambda is equal to 2 into L and then we can find the velocity of the sound waves V is equal to N lambda N is the frequency, input frequency. Substituting lambda as this as 2 L, we get V is equal to 2 N L. Observations. We are fixing the input frequency of the signal generator N as 2.7 kilohertz. We can check the readings in this form. This is the number of antinodes or the nodes which we will take as the first node, second node, third node, fourth node, so on. Then distance of the node from the reflecting board in centimeters we will denote from the reflecting board this is the distance of the first node from the reflecting board this is the this is uh, the distance of the second node from the reflecting board and so on then separation for the two nodes that is we will get small l so we will subtract two readings that is 21 minus 14.2, then 28 minus 21, 33.8 minus 28, that way we will get L. So that gives the separation between two nodes and then we take the mean of all these readings, you get mean L 6.56 centimeters. Calculations. We will substitute everything in the formula. V is equal to 2 into N into L. N is the input frequency that we have fixed as 2.7 kilohertz. That is 2.7 into 10 raised to 3 hertz. And L we have just got from the observations. That is 6.56 centimeters. Substituting everything in this formula, we get the velocity as 35,424 centimeters per second in terms of meters per second, we get 354.24 meters per second. Result, we can write down the velocity of sound that we have got as 354.24 meters per second. These are some of the e-resources that you can refer. Thank you for watching this video.